we're gonna be talking henna body art today it has been a minute since i've talked to you and shared some stories about my henna body art journey and one thing uh did you know that that is the first service that i ever offered when i was you know starting henna sook and i want to also welcome you to the henna sook channel my name is khadija i specialize in henna natural hair color and healthy ayurvedic hair care and if you didn't know now you know i do amazing gorgeous just beautiful phenomenal henna body art so henna body art what is it exactly where did it come from if you google it it does say that it originated in egypt and it is practiced all around the world wherever henna grows specifically as well and it is so amazing because henna body art designs are really like the art and the textiles of that particular country it like has such a big influence so let's use morocco as an example and i have been there personally so it has been something that I learned while I was there. And the way I saw the different styles of designs being done is that each region actually has their own style. It is so cool from flowers to more geometric shapes to sometimes some of the influence even from India. At the end of the day, really what it is when it comes to hand art, it's all about what kind of artist that you know you are, that you bring to the table, whatever you love, you know, you can create anything. I have seen artists that do uh, mythical creatures, phoenixes, gorgeous flowers, intricate, small, little details. Like from Mumbai, India, you'll see these very intricate bridal henna that are full on henna. Henna is not only this beautiful art form, but if you haven't ever had it done, I mean, you definitely should. It's just something that is a whole experience. Like, as I mentioned for henna, like with hair care, the henna body art goes hand in hand with that. It just is soothing, it's relaxing, it makes me feel beautiful. And the other great thing, it is not cultural misappropriation because especially I'm a believer, it might not be the most agreed upon opinion, but I am a true believer in what we gravitate towards is not just what our parents brought to the table, but what our ancestors brought to the table. Our roots are deeper than our parents. You know, we just didn't have parents and then we're all of a sudden we're, we're that culture. No, we are generations upon generations, upon thousands of years. You know, it goes deeper than that. So I've had that question before. People were like, oh, um, is it cultural misappropriation? I'm like, girl. Your ancestors probably speaking to you you know maybe you think it's corny but i am a believer that everything on this earth is for all of us we are human beings always appreciate everyone's culture and their roots but i think that the bigger picture of the beauty of henna is more important than being like oh you stole it from my parents or oh you're copying you know not everyone agrees with me i really do know that you know, but you should be respectful to understand where it comes from, the knowledge, the treating of henna, you know, the uplifting of it and everything like that. But that, I guess that could be a whole other video. So that's just my two cents on that. But it is a beautiful temporary form of body art. Like I said, you could do any kind of style that you like and want. It's all about what you are as an artist you know, bringing to the table and showcasing what you can do. And so henna comes from, you know, the henna plant and they use like the dried leaves and they grind it to make a very, very fine powder, like super, super fine. Like this Jamila henna powder is super, super, super fine. So super finely sifted that this is one of the henna powders that I definitely recommend if you're starting out with henna body art because you probably don't even have to strain it. More than like, this one is so smooth and creamy. And you want to strain it, what do you mean why would I strain it? Well, to make it henna body art extra smooth and creamy, it's good to strain it through a stocking. So you definitely gotta check out my other videos that I have on that. But not only that, I have a whole course and training on doing henna body art. Um, it's something that you can do as a hobby, but you can also do as a business. Maybe you're interested in making another stream of income. Oh, henna body art is that service that you can take anywhere you want to go. Like you could literally do any type of service with henna body art. You can go to people, you can be in a salon setting, in a spa. There's so many opportunities. It's endless. There's so many fun things that you could do with henna as an art. And the placement on the body is oh, 
just so much fun. So if you're really interested in learning more, I highly recommend the course and training that I offer because I spill all my secrets, like every little part and aspect of henna I share with you. Welcome to my Master Henna and Jaguar Body Art course. In this course, I'm going to teach you everything that you need to know about henna body art and Jaguar body art so that you can start your own services from how to choose the right henna powder, how to mix it, and also how to do amazing designs. And I'm also going to be focusing on customer service and care. And a big part of this, of course, in training is if you want to know more about the different henna powders and how I mixed it and what makes each one unique. Like I go deep, I go into details, sharing all my secrets with you guys, like everything that has never been published before, never seen, and not only that, I brought other henna artists to the table to also discuss their henna body art journey, the designs they do, so you learn so much. We're talking about hours upon hours and hours of like repetition, of practice, of you know, just learning everything from henna artists that I truly respect and love and know that they would connect with you guys. You're gonna love this course, so please check it out. So if you're starting out with henna body art, I definitely recommend Jamila Henna Powder because it has such a fine sift. It's so smooth and creamy. I mean, oh, just, you know, you want your henna paste to be just beautiful in the dye release and you can see, oh, it is just, mm. You want the creamiest of cream because like paints, you know, you want, you know, that henna to be smooth and creamy and it makes it easier to apply and you can work faster as well. So there is that. So you definitely got to be using the best of the best. I want to show you something that took me a long time to learn. Like I probably say a good year to get like, that motion, you know, that that natural movement of like rolling cones. Yes. So, how we roll cones, there are different ways, of course. I use a square and then I cut it in half. So I have a triangle. So I'm a triangle, and yeah, what they consider triangle girl. And we don't use the pointy part, we actually use the flat part. And it's important to use really good tape, clear tape, not magic tape, clear tape. So this is how we get started on rolling cones. So just right in the middle here, I pull it. I kind of use my fingers in a way to get it started. And I, and I gently hold it. I'm not pressing it down, because look, you cannot move if you're pressing it down. So you gotta like, guide it. So guide it, go like this, and keep turning. I'm using like my fingers like a wheel motion in a way. And then I pull back a little bit. A little bit you can leave your cones a little bit open at the tip it's hard to see but there's a little opening if you'd like or you can pull it closed um, a lot of people do like to leave it a little bit open because it makes the paste come out without like twirling and that's kind of like really helpful when it twirls it's kind of hard to control so and I'm putting as you notice one piece of tape around it to secure it but not right on the tip like right under it then I use a second piece of tape and a third piece of tape so it's about three pieces of tape and I go up the seam because the seam is right here and boom that cone is done so let me show you one more time because most people do ask for me to show them more than once but this is a video too so you can repeat it as many times as you want so again I'm guiding it. If you need to do slow-mo, do slow-mo. Guiding it slowly, slowly. And it's kind of big and it's kind of, but I'm, I'm still controlling the end of it. And I bring it up and I hold it and I keep going and I keep going and I keep going. And I'm gonna leave this cone a little bit open. Take my one tiny piece of tape, go around like that. The second piece going up the seam and last piece of tape up the seam again there we go and boom there we have two cones ready and made so that's it so i definitely recommend after you make the henna paste that we have here the henna paste 
this henna paste, basically you have made it ahead of time and here are your cones and you'll be able to fill them. And the great thing about henna body art is once you fill them and close them, which I show you in the course, you gotta check it out. I actually had to strain it. I actually had to roll even more and then how to close them up and how to store them because you can store these in the freezer once they're full and they'll last up to six months to a year. I usually have a little bit of paper towel nearby so that I can wipe as needed. Some people wipe on their hands. I'm not really a fan of that. So in this, this is how I kind of hold my cone and how I'm working when I'm usually working on someone. And let's practice doing uh, this beautiful kind of flower that everyone kind of calls the Khadija flower. It's like my signature flower. So this is how you do it. First, you start doing the middle. As such, you make the humps. And you're squeezing out a little at a time. It's really fluid and easy to do. And then from there, we're going to do the petals. I kind of do the petals, you know, in a sequence, like depending on how they fit and come out, you know, they kind of either will be five or six. And then the easy way to fill it is just to do a dot, which I often do just a dot. And that's how you make what we call the Khadija flower. If you wanted to add to it, you can just do a swirly right here. You can make a leaf, give it a little bit more, you know, the definition of making it look really pretty. Put another dot, put a splash of paste. You know, you'll learn all these elements in the course where I show you how to do all of these elements. Oh my goodness, it's so much fun. It really, really is and so easy to do and then you could just repeat you know little splashes of henna and boom you have a cute little design someone wants something small and simple boom it's done and so the great thing about henna body art is what you'll do now if it's on a person's skin is you'll let it dry for about usually takes 15 to 20 minutes and then they leave it on for a few hours after that and if you're doing you know practicing on acrylic board. Don't let that dry out. Take a piece of your paper towel. Either you can wash it off actually, or you can wipe it off. So say goodbye, beautiful flower. So you can just wipe it right off. You don't want to leave the henna paste on the board because sometimes some people feel like that it gets it stained. So we don't want to do that. But definitely after you're done practicing for the whole day, do wash it completely as you can see there's a little bits left so i'm gonna have to wash this with water and there you have it it's so easy to repeat and practice and just get really better at doing henna body and it's really really easy it's so simple so there you have it a simple easy introduction to henna body art highly recommend the course because it has everything you need and it's just fun and relaxing if you love drawing if you you know, some people ask, oh, do I have to be an artist to do that? No, I teach you how to do all the designs in the course as well. So I got you. It's perfect for beginners. It's even really good for those of you who already have experience and really amazing for those who want to make extra income because I go through the business part of it. It just has a full curriculum on all things henna body art and the bonus the bonus is the Jago body art, which stains a gorgeous natural black tone. So what did you think? Have you ever had henna body art before? And are you interested in this course? Let me know if you have any questions about henna body art. I will be more than happy to answer them below. Let me know. I got you. So thank you for tuning in. And don't forget, you want to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of our videos. We have videos every Sunday. Tuesday and Thursday coming out for you and so many great things. I also want you to mark your calendar not only for the launch and special on this particular henna body art course but those of you still watching that love doing a hair challenge we got another one coming up for you March 25th so stay tuned it's going to be a good 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 one and we got a huge special new prizes and a new focus that you guys are going to love so stay tuned i will see you next time <laughs>